A Mount Air man is in jail tonight, accused of killing a 30 year old woman back in June. Now this is a picture of Rachel Reuter. Her father reported her missing on June 16th after he hadn't seen or heard from her for a couple of days. And this is the man charged with her murder, 46 year old James Cleaver. Investigators have not found Rachel's body. Our team has been pouring through new court documents today, trying to piece together how investigators connected James and Rachel. Local 5's John Diaz joins us tonight. Yeah, Samantha, a lot of twists and turns in this case. Investigators have been interviewing people connected to this case since late June. They now believe they have enough evidence to file charges. Now we're going to give you some nuts and bolts here. According to court documents, Rachel and James were last seen together at the Super 8 in Urbandale on June 12th. Investigators followed the movement of her phone over the next several hours, eventually ending up at a garage at a home in Bondurant. According to those court documents, the homeowner told investigators something happened and over the next several days, other witnesses reported seeing James with injuries on his hands. They also say he confessed to killing one or two people. It's been a, uh, an ongoing case for a long time. Obviously, it started in June. We're now into November and they just made the arrest. So it's just been a lot of activity and a, and a lot of different investigators from three different agencies uh, taking part in this case. Now, James Carr plays into this as well. According to court documents, that's how he moved her body. And even though the evidence suggests the trunk was extensively cleaned, investigators allegedly found human blood in the trunk. Okay, a lot to take in here. I know yeah, you've absolutely. been deep into this investigation all day. How unusual is it for there to be a murder charge without a body? Yes, Samantha, it is not common. And tonight at 10, we're going to hear from a legal expert about the uphill battle that uh, prosecutors are going to face mm -hmm. in this case. And we're also going to dive into some of the evidence that law enforcement will be leaning into to connect James and Rachel. A lot to unpack there. Absolutely. Thank you, John.